true champions aren't great. They redefine greatness on the field, in the classroom, for their community. The chosen few whose academic excellence fuels athletic dominance. Driven by a conviction that game on begins in the classroom and continues on the court. Future pioneers in education, business, and medicine, improving lives, saving lives, each blazing their own bold path and route to a shared destiny. In celebration of these phenomenal student athletes, we marvel at their stunning accomplishments and revel in anticipation of all that's yet to come. The Gatorade Athletes of the Year, Kelly Lynch and Bobby Witt Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, WWE superstar, Roman Reigns. No matter the sport, there's nothing more valuable to an athlete than a great coach. Great coaches are teachers who care about their players like their own. They're competitors who find ways to summon performances that no one else could. They're leaders who don't care where they are or how many people are watching while they do the best job they can. The coach we're honoring tonight is all of those things and has been all of those things since before most of the people in this room were born. He's also, like me, one of the millions of cancer survivors living in this country today. But neither Jim Calhoun's health nor his age has kept him away from doing what he loves most. You guys understand, you all can only do it together. As much as you want to compete against a teammate, compete. Then pick his ass up and beat him again. Make him better. Make him better. I try to have this concept of win every day. You know, I tell our kids, we're going to win every day and win every practice. All right, baseline. Baseline, let's go. You really want to be great? Maybe I can show you. He's still coaching, and at the age of 77, it's not about the three national titles or more than 800 Division I wins. It's about teaching a group of kids how to play the game better, how to play together better, how to be better. When I put that whistle on, I knew it right away. I had the same desire about making me good to making them good. That really, really excited me. Jim Calhoun's been coaching basketball for more than 50 years. He turned UConn into one of the best programs in the country. But alongside the success came reminders of how quickly it could all be taken away. There were four battles with cancer, and in 2012, he retired. We all have moments of quit in us, but I want to go out on my terms. So therefore, I'm going to fight this. And I did chemo for a year and a half. And then I got this magic window where they said chemotherapy's working. Every action in life has a reaction. And my purpose, at least proven, I think I am, pretty good at dealing with kids. So when the University of St. Joseph in West Hartford, Connecticut, called for help and said they were starting a Division III basketball program, Coach Calhoun surprisingly wanted the head coaching job. I feel reinforced now and great that I can make a difference. He enjoys being on the floor and interacting with the student athletes every day. They gotta feel your breath. Get into it. He doesn't treat him any different at St. Joe's than he did at UConn. He's just as competitive, just as enthusiastic. A startup program with 11 freshmen made the challenge only bigger. And even as he battled another bout with cancer, Coach Calhoun led the Blue Jays to the playoffs. Just another group of kids to teach, mold, and inspire for the coach still doing what he's meant to do. Blur! Blur! Blows by the defender. The 
hoist at the buzzer. Here he goes. Slam. It's good. I watched us run to the playoffs this year. I could tell you I get goosebumps just the same as I did when I coached 79,000 people to win a national championship. Thursday night, another one. Yeah. Through every win and every loss, the mission is always the same. To teach these kids that you keep fighting just like he does every day. I'm proud of you and I love you. I, I mean it very honestly. Are those guys give me the ultimate feeling of being a part of their lives. Being a part of their lives. How incredible is that? Life is about purpose. I never went to work. I don't have a job, my coach. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome this year's recipient of the Best Coach Award, Jim Calhoun. Thank you very much, and obviously this is a great honor. Quick story, I hope. I'm going to rob some time before I start from the young guys. They're up here 30 seconds. I'm going to give you two. They're young. They can keep doing it. Me? I don't know how many more times they're going to be up on this kind of thing. But more importantly, when I was 15 years old, my father died suddenly of a heart attack. I was one of six kids, and I had to take care of my family. Two years when I became a senior, I had to stay home. And I worked as a stone cutter. It was a tough time. I was kind of bitter in many ways and upset, obviously. I wanted to go play ball and be with my friends. But during that time, a few things kept me and gave me the attitude to get through it. I developed an attitude to try to win every day. Now, I didn't know then what win every day meant. Well, I tried to read every day if I could, weight train, run, stay close, though, to the game I loved. Basketball, the focus on that game kept me solid and gave me something to shoot for, gave me hope that I could be there someday. And then the people around me, my high school coach, my principal, other mentors, all rallied around me and found a way to get me back on track to get to another school, got a basketball scholarship again, went back, played ball, graduated, and excuse me, Bill Russell, I love you, man, but you cut me in 1969. <laughs> For a guy named Havlicek, I, can't, I could never understand it, John, I love you, God rest your soul. And yet, more than 50 years later, I'm still doing it. Without that village around me, I wouldn't be standing here today. And I've dedicated my life to doing for others what those folks did for me. Being tough on kids, loving them, pushing them, teaching them to try to win every single day. The game that saved and shaped my life is so important to me. And so, standing up here at 77 years old, this is about more than basketball. It's about all the coaches, all the teachers out there who no matter what, they believe that coaching, teaching, and mentoring, and making a difference in folks' lives, young people, is so important. You know, in today's day and age, it makes no difference whether you're doing it in front of millions, which I, I guess I did, or no one at all. The simple idea, but it's never been more important today to keep this simple idea of reach out to help others. This is the most incredible experience a man, woman could ever have to help someone. The same way those folks helped me many years ago, got me back on track to play the game I loved 
I've tried to do that for the past 50 years. So to all the teachers, coaches out there, and mentors, keep it up. I love you. To St. Joe's, Northeastern, and Yukon, thanks for giving me a chance. To my wife of 53 years, I think we're going to make it. <laughs> and to all of you, treasure the incredible gift that you have. And make sure you try to win every day and help another. Thanks very, very much.